Okay, so we've got the booth all uh, put up. Very similar to the one I did for the cruiser build. When I built the cruiser, I actually um, had the same size marquee and I set it up outside and I ended up with a lot of uh, bad weather that day. really quickly but uh, I'm getting there it basically is completely pulled back down to nothing um, I had it all all together pleco together but now it's um, as you can see it's all in pieces again and uh, yeah get it ready for paint and then I can do start doing some final assembly in the back here I've just got um, my extraction fan going out the back window I've set this one up inside inside my garage uh, it's a nine by three meter. So it fits the uh, the boat hole in there, the plane. Um, so as you can see, I've prepped it ready for uh, some paint. Shins are all sealed uh, with a polyurethane sealant around everything. Rivets are actually sealed as well. So every every rivet underneath has been sealed. Um, so it's basically ready for um, a bit of a light sand down, wipe it down, tack cloth off and uh, put some primer on it. Uh, the colour code I'm running on this is Kenworth Ice White. Uh, so I've got here, this is my extraction fan here, it's an explosion proof extraction fan. This is just an old box I made up and filter uh, for a previous job, I'm just reusing it. You can see I've got my extraction fan there another quick tip for you so if you ever got uh want to paint something and you go i don't have a compressor big enough um, but you have two lying around like this two small ones um i don't bother with big compressor um, i run two small compressors with a y piece running them in parallel each compressor pumps out 160 liters a minute so, or 150 actually, between the two. So I've got 300 litres a minute of free air delivery. That's enough to supply my positive pressure hood and a uh, spray gun, so. We'll get some primer on it today. Quick tips, if you have got a positive pressure hood or something like this that you've been painting with previously, and you can see I've got paint all over it. You didn't clean it very well, as you can see. Here's a trick. Don't mind the mess on the bench I've been painting, so everything's out here just lying around. Um, I've got one of these lying around, headlight restore kit. Uh, these are great. They're just like a real fine cutting compound. You get a couple of little uh, finesse discs with it. Get the disc on the uh, on the sponge and actually go around. And what that does is take off that uh, paint layer and go on to your uh, polishing cream um, and finally uh, lubricant spray just for clarity, just a real quick tip. I'm sort of halfway through this and I thought oh, I'll show you guys how I clean them up because I've done them for years like this. There you go, just a little bit more you can see in that corner but overall 
clarity is really nice okay so um yeah once i uh, paint the interior the color i'm after i'm then going to mask up this whole interior section then finish off painting the white base coat around the rest of the the top of the hull um, blending it in with the uh, the bottom so there'll be a mask there's a mask line that I've got hidden so you won't actually see the transition so really nice coverage underneath mask line then I'm going to get some nice coverage on the top and um, this interior will be a slightly different color the windshield and everything on it should be good like a nice gray color so that's what I'm going with so yeah, you can see this is where I'm at with it. And then fourth stage will be um, mask up the whole lot. And I'm putting um, a blue striped uh, setup on it. Similar, similar to what I did on the Cruiser. So yeah, it's all nice and easy. It's, it's pretty straightforward stuff. It's just takes a bit of time, a bit of prep work. And uh, yeah, so. See how we go. Okay, so when I um, paint um, my gun setup, I usually use a 1.8 nozzle needle for primer and for two pack top coat, I use a 1.4 nozzle needle. What that does is um, it gives me better control over the two pack top coat. Obviously the viscosity of it's um, slightly thinner so that um, so you need a smaller needle and uh, nozzle to go through to spray the paint so uh, yeah so yeah that's all I'm doing I'm just swapping it over so yeah 1.4 nozzle needle goes in the right way and that's that's the setup I've been using for years um, and uh, yeah, it works well. Need to give these a good clean after all this too. Usually let the whole gun soak in a bath of thinners and uh, pull it all apart completely, clean it all out. But uh, it's good for what we're doing now. We're just going to paint the inside of that the grey and uh, we'll go from there. So a bit noisy with this tractor van on, but um, just finished the uh, coat inside. 